Okay, I'm back now. Um, this has been about an, an hour of trying to get my computer working again. What I found out was that my Windows 7 is incompatible with the new Windows 10 on my primary computer. It's a little older model than the computer that I have right here. So, you can't use the Windows 7 uh, win and, and, and download the Windows 10. If you have Windows 7, do not download Windows 10 because your computer will be frozen. You won't be able to use it. So now what they're having to do is they're having to send me a, a, a drive, a little disk that will come in about two or three days. That cost me $32 from Microsoft. Uh, it's a storage, a little storage drive. You could go buy one at Office Depot, and I'm sure pay much more. But anyway, I'm paying thirty-two dollars to get this little storage disk, and then um, now the tech has access to my computer, and he's downloading this uh, media creation tool onto my computer. He's going to put it on the, put it in the file, and when this um, disk comes in. I'll have to upload that file onto the little disk, then go back to my main computer and run that onto my main computer. He's controlling my computer right now. Hello, sir. Yes. Okay. So he's downloading an iOS O file that he's going to put into a, a folder that he's already created. So he has control of my computer. And uh, normally I wouldn't allow a, a tech on the phone to download my computer uh, down or, or to access my computer. But I know that uh, I'm the one that contacted Microsoft and I want him to take care of this problem those guys that you know they call you from wherever they call you from and they want to access your computer never allow them to do it but I'm talking to Microsoft here and um, when I contacted them they knew who I was and they knew my account and all that kind of stuff so this is Microsoft and he's doing it now I'll show you what he's doing Hey, Zar. Yes, sir. Where Where are you located? I'm from the Philippines. So, are you in the Philippines right now? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So for this one, sir, um, one more. Let me go ahead and check if we can um put it on your computer, okay? Okay. One moment. Did you go to school here in the U.S.? Hey, Zar. Trying to talk to Zar. That's his name, is Zar. We have a lot of students from India and Philippines and other places. Hey, Zar. You still there? He's working though. Alright, so for now, sir, um, it is now currently downloading the ISO file for your Windows 7. So let's uh, just, uh, just wait for it. So that, um, and once it has finished downloading, it will be redirected to this folder, okay? Okay. And once you have received um, 
on the, the USB drive, just transfer his folder to that drive. And if, um, if you need help moving for, uh, for the installation, just simply call us back, okay? Alright. All right. Um, once... Now, now, once I once I receive the drive and I download this folder onto that drive, I I should be. Will I have to transfer the folder onto my heart? No, no, no. Open this folder, get the application for the the ISO file for the Windows 10, and um, transfer it to the other computer. And if you need further help on upgrading the other computer to the Windows 10, just simply call us back, sir. Okay. Well, the, the other computer won't be upgraded to Windows 10 because it... Well, yes, sir. That's the reason why we are using this ISO file, so that it can um, convert it to the Windows 10, sir. So, it's, it's going to be upgraded to Windows 10? Yes, sir. We're not going to put it back at Windows 7 like it was before? Uh, the problem that you are encountering right now through Windows 7, it wouldn't happen once we have used this ISO file. I, oh, I thought we were going back to the Windows 7 so I would have my computer set as it was originally. Well, yes, sir. You will have that option too, sir. You can revert back to Windows 7 if you want to. However, we will need to finish the installation for the Windows 10 in order for it to go back to the Windows 7, too. Or if you want, you can save to also on the Windows 10, too. Uh, I, I didn't understand the last part. What just at the end? What you say? It's like this. So the other computer is stopped to the automatic repair, right? Right. Right. All right. So uh, for that, the reason why we are downloading this ISO file for Windows 10 is to transfer it to that computer so that it would finish the installation. So once the installation is done, or the upgrade, upgrading is done, it will be on Windows 10. Okay. So if you want to revert back to the Windows 7, just go to um, Update and Security, Recovery, and you, <coughs> and you will see this, but it is not 8.1. You will have the option, go back to Windows 7. Just get started, and you will be back to Windows 7. Okay. But there's just... Reason, okay, go ahead. Alright. And the reason why um, we cannot, uh, on the other computer, uh, why we cannot go back to Windows 7 is because the upgrading of Windows 10 is not yet finished. So, um, this will be the answer to finish the upgrading. Once it has, it has been done, then we can um, go back to Windows 7. I understand now. I got you. Alright. Okay. So, the other... One is fixing your Google. You want this one? I want it to be Google Chrome, right? Yes, Google Chrome. All right. Bing hates Google Chrome. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, if you use Bing, you're going to be in a problem with trying to get to Google Chrome. Yeah, you better use Google. <laughs> Bing likes to take over the computer. Oh, okay.
at your um, account here, how your Google Chrome here, Mr. Arthur. It's, it is um, set to the Google um, Chrome default browser. It is already set as a Google Chrome default browser. Because upon checking, um, if you don't see the button, Google Chrome is already your default browser. So upon checking on the Chrome button, we do not have the option for default browsers. Um, no, yes, I hear you. Um, when I when it first came on to the internet, it was saying that Google Chrome was not set as my default browser. Is what it said. It used to say the same thing on the first computer, the one that we're having a problem with. And I tried to set it, set Google Chrome as the default, and it it never would set. Let's try it again. Okay. So once I have opened it, it's not set to the default browser. Okay. Let's check it. Let's try. Let's see what happens. Okay. See, it gives me, gives me that message right there. Uh, no. Google Chrome is, isn't your default browser. And then when you try to set it, it gives you a number of drop down options. that never work. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check it. That's yeah, I, I've gotten all I've gotten all of that and then I've tried to set choose a default. I tried that. It didn't work. I mean I because I, I didn't want the calendar and all that. I just want the Google Chrome. And it never comes up. It never shows you Google Chrome as a default browser. Yeah, it gives you that Microsoft Edge. Yeah, I never got that. Okay. All right. Let's try it again. All right. That may have done it right there. That may have been the key. Okay, very good. Alright. So for this one, sir, all Thank has you. been done. So um, if you want to have all of the updates for the Windows 10, so that you will have the full pack version, just um, go to your settings. So I have a short kit key. So I have open your settings. And um, update and security. And always update your account. You see? Upon checking, you have one update, and it's currently at 91%. So, after this, you are, you are updated now, okay? Okay. Alright. So, uh, so, for this one, sir, all is done. Just simply wait for the USB drive so that we can fix the other account, okay? So, I will provide you um, your case ID number. I will write it here on your notepad. So once you have called us back, sir, just simply for us to write, provide us this reference number so that we will know what to do, and you don't, uh, and you won't explain yourself again. Okay. Good. Okay. And I'll provide you our uh, phone number. Okay. 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 Can you put it in that file? On the folder? Yeah. Yes, in that in that folder. Put it all in that in that ISO folder. K 
case information. think so um as long as as long as i got this one working i can i can operate So I just continue to let this um, download, but I can go back. I can get on the uh, internet without any problems while this is downloading. Correct? Yes, sir. You're correct. Okay. Um, um, can I can I minimize this window? Or should I just leave it alone or what? I can minimize those windows, but um, I just want to inform you that it won't slow your connection a little bit. Because it's downloading the ISO file, okay? So even if I minimize it, um, you mean minimizing it? Will minimizing it will slow it down, or leaving it as it is, it's just going to be slower anyway. Uh, no, sir. Um, if you want to, uh, just go ahead and um, use your internet connection. Just want to inform you that the browsing will basically be slower because it's downloading the ISO file. I got you. Okay. Uh, Zar, thank you so very much for your assistance. You're very much welcome, and I won't take much of your time. So thank you so much, Mr. Arthur, for calling Microsoft and Sir Desk, and enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <sighs> wow. It was a pretty involved process, but... I had to go through all that in order to get my computer working again. Um, it's a good thing that I have a second computer that allows me to download the Windows 10. That's what's going on right now. We're downloading a file, We're downloading the Windows 10 onto the desktop of this computer, my second computer, so that I can then save the Windows 10 onto a drive, a disk a little, or one of those um, flash drives then I'll take the flash drive and, and use it in my computer my, my first computer the one that was the older computer with the 7 7.0 or 7.1 whatever it was Microsoft uh, Windows that was incompatible with Windows 10 so it'll force that computer to receive a full Windows 10 and then what the man told me is that once I get Windows 10 fully installed on that computer I'll be able to go back to my old Windows if that's what I choose to do and I noticed that here even on this computer if I want to go back to Windows 10, I have 30 days. I mean, go back to the old Windows, which is Windows 8.1. If I want to go to back to my Windows 8.1, I have 30 days from today 
to revert back to Windows 8.1. So I'm going to probably be doing some uh, reviewing of YouTube videos about this new Windows 10. I've already looked at one guy who, who talked about 10 or 5 reasons why not to download Windows 10. And one of his main reasons was the intrusive nature of Windows 10. I mean, it seems like everything is going into getting into your files and getting into your business and getting into your computer and being able to access your computer whenever they want to and, and access, get reports and get information and get data and get this and the, get that. So, and, and Windows 10 opens up that opportunity for them as well as um, uh, they say he he was saying that there's a reason why it's free because eventually you're going to have to upgrade to another edition of Windows and when you have to upgrade they'll force you to upgrade you're going to have to pay for that <laughs> so 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 when, having Windows 10 will force you to upgrade to something else so that you have to pay for it which is a very good point but if I go back to my Windows 8.1 on this computer then it'll just stay 8.1 as long as I have this computer and I won't have anything that'll just shut down on me and force me to try to have to pay for something to upgrade so wow this is something else and and here's the thing about it with my first computer I actually went through the steps to download Windows 10. On this, my second computer, I didn't have to go through the same steps. I just went next, 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 and boom, Windows 10 was downloaded. Which says to me, I, I mean, I don't know, I, I think that once I downloaded Windows 10 on one computer, it affected this other computer. Um, because the same thing happened when I changed my picture profile on my first computer. The picture profile was changed. The picture for my profile was changed on my second computer. I did not have to upload a new picture on the second computer. It was uploaded when I changed or modified my first computer. So, and, and that's probably because I used the same login information for both computers even though they're separate computers. So, anyway, uh, these are just some things about the new age of personal computing that uh, is important to be aware of. All right, so I'm going to get up out of here. I got so many things I need to get done, and this uh, issue has taken up too much of my time today, and I got so much that I need to uh, accomplish, so... Until the next video, this is Dr. Kemp saying to you, have a very peaceful <laughs> and wonderful day. Despite anything you may have to deal with, such as uh, the new Windows 10. Goodbye. <laughs>